leafhoppers are a large and diverse family. They are long and slender and have a double row of spines along the hind leg. They feed on plants and many are pests by destroying chlorophyll, plugging up the plant's transport system, and vectoring diseases. Frog hoppers, or spittle bugs, are small insects that feed mostly on grasses. The nymphs surround themselves with a frothy, spittle-like mass that is produced from the anus and from epidermal glands. This moist, if not gross, environment provides an ideal habitat for the nymph. There's nothing more protective than anal secretions. Adults are more educated and don't spittle. This prosapia species is a major pest for dairy farmers during the rainy season as the population booms in a monoculture of its host plant. Spittlebugs have one or two stout spines on their hind tibia. Of course, almost every species is part of the food chain, as this assassin bug can attest to. The derbit plant hoppers are small, have long, narrow wings, wimpy construction, and feed on woody fungi. Sometimes they look like down and out moths, but to get their ID card, See if there is a row of spines on the second tarsal segment. Then, see if the last segment of the beak is tiny compared to the others. And to be sure, a row of bumps along this vein. As nymphs, the achillid plant hoppers live under bark. But as adults, they get out on the town and sometimes come to patio lights. Adults can reach over a centimeter and can be distinguished because of a rather flat appearance and that the forewings overlap towards the abdomen. Delphacet plant hoppers are very small little guys, but with a big spur on the hind tibia. One kick with that and you're out. Some species are short-winged, but not this one. These plant hoppers are easily distinguished by a long snout with two or three keels on it. They feed mostly on grasses and are generally found in open areas. Sixids are small plant hoppers that have a head that doesn't jut out in front, a special plate that covers where the wings join the body, a medium ocellus, and the key are the bumps along the wing vein. These faithless little creatures have a pronotum that extends beyond the middle of the eyes. They have green or transparent wings that are rounded and are often held flat. Nogonids have some lateral spines on the tibia and one spine on each side of the second tarsal segment. Many Isid plant hoppers are dumpy little things no more than a sixteenth of an inch. Others are bigger, if not prettier. They often have short, hardened forewings and no hindwings. Their hind tibia have these spines, and this it's hop, and they're pretty hip for a plant hopper. The Acanalonid plant hoppers have no pronounced cross veins on the wing. They are less wedge-shaped in appearance compared to the flatted plant hoppers. The flatteds have many cross veins unlike the acanalonid plant hoppers. They tend to live in wooded areas and feed on vines, shrubs, and trees. There are several Costa Rican families of homoptera that look like miniature cicadas that obviously go unnoticed and whose chorus will never bother anyone. This family lives on mistletoe and cedar trees. Besides the distinctive wing venation, the third segment of the antennae is the longest segment. 
These minute insects tend to suck up the juices of specific plants. The jumping plant lice have four wings and the antennae usually has ten segments. 